In May of 2016, a man was involved in a fatal crash while driving his Tesla in its autopilot mode. After this happened, a huge investigation by the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration was launched, along with many other investigations by similar traffic safety agencies. The NHTSA's investigation took little less than a year to complete, and on January 19th, its findings were released to the public. This report was one of the last acts of the NHTSA during the Obama administration and was initially launched to try to find defects within Tesla's automatic emergency braking systems and autopilot systems. After several exhaustive tests and trials, the NHTSA stated that Tesla systems did not have to be recalled at all. <coughs> this conclusion caused some hesitation with buyers, but is ultimately a huge success for Tesla. Although Tesla's cars with self-driving programs have been involved in several accidents that resulted in fatal consequences, the NHTSA found that the accidents were not caused because of software malfunctions, but because drivers were not paying attention to the road. After the NHTSA's report was released, Tesla re released a new update to the self-driving software that reminds drivers more frequently to keep their hands on the wheel and to pay attention while driving. If the driver does not comply with the vehicle's request the, um, the, to put their hands back on the steering wheel, the autopilot system shuts off and cannot be turned back on unless the car is restarted. Critics such as the New York Times say that while this update is a good, um, good attempt to create a safer environment, that this, is not, that this does not fully address the problem when it comes to self-driving cars. The bigger issue comes with the naming and marketing of self-driving cars. And Tesla has frequently been asked to rename its autopilot system because it c can provide a, um, a false sense of security for drivers. The NHTSA spokesman Brian Thomas states that the naming and marketing of semi-autonomous car driving systems in ways that gives consumers the impression that they can let their cars drive themselves is an industry-wide concern that the NHTSA has. The key to Mr. Thomas's statement is the word semi-autonomous, which means that the car cannot function completely on its own and requires the input from the driver. This is the reason why Tesla got off without having their system recalled. The autopilot requires human input, and without it, the system can make mistakes. This is why the NHTSA came to the conclusion that they did, albeit at the cost of a human life. Since the report's release, Tesla has launched its enhanced autopilot system which includes new and improved features such as auto steer and smart summon. All of these capabilities are available in new Tesla models and can be programmed into older models via over-the-air um, software updates. <coughs> it appears that Tesla has taken the NHTSA's report as a confirmation to go ahead with its new ideas and hasn't shaken the company in any way. Even though the report found no defects, many, other, many others see this as a missed opportunity for regulation to be put in place that could protect the future of companies from incidents, incidences such as Tesla's that also could be much worse.